Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my Duel Links videos. Today I have for you our second installment of Meme Fridays highlights. So if you guys still don't know, on Fridays during my stream, uh, me and the chat come up with some uh, meme decks, like you know stuff that's not gonna be viable, that's probably not gonna work, besides a couple of times. And we try to get uh, one win before we get five losses. And if we get a win, we save the replay. And these are five of the decks that we used and we're able to get wins with. Uh, these are the cards. I don't have each specific deck list. So these are the cards that you need to know just so you know what kind of deck we're using. The first one, I believe we started with uh, Doriato. I, I had a Fiend Farewell deck with Doriato a long time ago and I kind of retooled that a little bit. Uh, the main combo is still Doriato and uh, not Conscription and Furin Kassan, which when you control Doriato, you control all elements, therefore you can activate your Furin Kassan. Uh, it lets you destroy all monsters your opponent controls, destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls, discard two random cards from your opponent's hand, or you get to draw two cards. So this card will give you a ton of advantage, whether it's wiping the board, wiping the back row, drawing two cards, or just you know getting rid of your opponent's uh, cards in hand. The main card we use to uh, summon Doriato and the reason why we run Fiend Farewell with the deck is Jin. He's a 3 star Fiend, it's the only Fiend in the deck. So when you activate the skill, this goes to the graveyard immediately. And this card uh, lets you Ritual Summon by using it from the grave. And basically that's that's the whole deal with it. I, In order to mitigate you know, the, the amount of cards you need for a Ritual Summon, I'm using resources from the grave. That's kind of the idea behind it. It also lets you discard a card if your Doriato Dori happens to do battle damage. Uh, you get to discard a card from your opponent's hand. I believe they choose they choose which card they discard, but the, the thing is they're going minus one. So combine that with Farid Kassan and you know you can gain advantage pretty quick. The second deck was my um, Mind Games deck from Ishizu. A really, really long time uh, since I've made that deck. It basically uses uh, Ishizu's pressing skill to to be able to know what card your opponent has on the top of their deck. It also lets you know what you have, but the important thing is what your opponent has. Because then you can use uh, Conscription and steal whatever monster they're about to draw. And it's you know it's you can steal boss monsters. I also use Peking Goblin in it so that you can see what they have and if one of the a boss monsters coming up, you just put that on top of the deck and then you know uh, try to steal it. Uh, you can also use Wet Psychic Fighter to put a monster that's already in the graveyard back on top of the deck and then use your conscription. So the deck tries to control and you know know at all times what what your opponent is about to top deck so that you can use conscription uh, you know properly. The deck after that is a mix between Paleozoics and Monarchs. Basically we're just using Paleozoics uh, as tribute fodder in order to tribute summon monsters, uh, mainly Monarchs. But we also have things like uh, Blowback Dragon and stuff like that. The real cool thing about this deck and that surprised me a little bit is that we were using Heavy Starter and it was giving us perfect hands like every time. It was crazy. You would get one monster and three traps. So it was a really cool way of running the deck. Um, I believe we have a, a win with uh, Toons. Toons were getting absolutely destroyed by everything. Uh, it's definitely the deck that I would say struggled the most on Meme Friday. And the only reason we won that is because I threw in Mimikat and we were stealing one of their monsters and they scooped out of rage. So that's how Toons got a win in the current format that we're in. And for the last duel, it's, it was a spicy one. We were using Cloudians and I made a ton of misplays. My opponent made the biggest misplay and it had a perfect ending. I'm not going to spoil too much of that. Just know that uh, Cloudian Nimbus Man gains 500 attack for each fog counter that's on um this card gains 500 attack for each fog counter on the field so yeah uh counters on itself or on other uh fog cards and the other card to know is cloudian ghost fog this card wow this card cannot be special summon all battle damage to either player from a battle involving this monster becomes zero that's important if this card is destroyed by battle Distribute new fog counters equal to the level of the monster that destroyed it among face-up monster. So whatever destroy, if a four-star destroy this, you get to, you know, you get to distribute four counters, so on and so forth. 
that's as much as I'm gonna tell you we're gonna get, go ahead and get into this replays long deck explanation but I had five decks to explain so sorry for those that are usually looking for the skip button I probably won't put one in this video because I want you guys to know that I play five different decks it's me and Fridays boys you won't be seeing this on Friday though you'll be seeing this on Saturday probably after the Saturday stream uh, because I'm releasing a different video before this one so as you can see this is the the, the Doriado deck uh, anytime you open up with Furi Kazan, it's uh, it's gonna be a good thing. Uh, we also have uh, Elemental Mistress Doriado. So what I was looking for was any of my searchers like Gishki. I believe I had. I don't think I had a searcher for the rituals. So unfortunately here, I pick up Jin and I'm just gonna use him to protect my life points. Once he goes in grave, I can still use him for the ritual. I'm still looking for Gishki. Uh, to search my ritual or the ritual itself to come up. We top deck like a god and get uh, the Doriado ritual stuff and I activate my skill to thin the deck and send another Jin to the grave. As you can see, that's that's the whole reason why we're running Fiend Farewell. So we're going to uh, ritual summon and right away activate my Furin Kassan number one, destroy all monsters. I get to attack him directly so he loses a card from his hand and I could have used the second one to you know draw cards and stuff like that but I wanted to wait since my Doriado is only 1200 attack I wanted to have something to protect it but then I realized oh wait he's about to have two cards in hand let me just chain that doing the draw phase he's gonna lose his entire hand and I get to draw unfortunately I don't pick up another monster and I don't pick up protection for my Doriado so at this point I'm just hoping that he doesn't top deck anything and he doesn't so we got very lucky as you can see. Uh, my uh, Jin is gonna re remove another card. We picked up our third full ring Kassan, destroy his monster and finally pick up a Gishki chain and just attack him for game. It was really good. We definitely got lucky with that one top deck. You know, uh, he got a brick but other than that the deck was doing amazing. Next we have the mind, uh, mind Games deck that I was talking about with the Shizu. Going up against Thor. This was actually a, a pretty intense duel. I made a couple misplays, uh, but I was able to come out on top at the end. Power of Dark. I'm gonna pause on this one a lot just so you guys can see. Uh, as you can see from the beginning, I knew that he was probably playing Archfiends. We see Card of the Soul. I already have Conscription, so if I didn't, if at any point I see a monster on top of the deck, I will steal that. And we have another Conscription coming up, so that's always good. We have Protection uh, with Kuribo, so we're not gonna die. Here, I, I saw the Trans Archfiend, but I got a little greedy and I decided to wait until he searched for his uh, Emperor. That way his deck reshuffled and maybe I could get a better monster out of that. So he's gonna get uh, Archfiend Emperor Lord of Horror and now we see an Archfiend Giant in there instead. Triple back row it's always bad against uh, Archfiends so I definitely was gonna need some sort of lucky break. I'm going to steal the Archfiend Ryan Giant right away. Unfortunately as I steal the Giant I noticed that he had another Air Archfiend Emperor coming up and that was just really sad because even though I have another conscription the earliest I can activate this is after he draws his card so I'm not gonna be able to steal the Lord of War unfortunately so I go full back row uh, that way I'm hoping he misses the conscription if he tries to destroy uh, you know a card with Archfiend he goes Archfiend Roar tries to destroy Archfiend Giant and this is a misplay, like there, there's no way to put it in. I don't know if he was afraid of the back row or what, but he tries to destroy this. Obviously I can pay 500 life points and keep him on the field. He has escaped from the dark dimension to be fair, so he's gonna get a second Archfiend Emperor. And now he destroys my Archfiend Giant. So I don't know if I agree with the way he did things. I feel like I would have destroyed two back row and then just destroy this by battle but maybe he was just afraid and he wanted to get rid of my back row 
the next mix misplay I make here is using my Kuribo on the Archfiend that was uh, brought back with Archfiend's Roar because that one's gonna get destroyed. I should have waited and used it on this guy. That way he would have been in defense mode because you'll see the play that I'm already thinking of. As you can see, I have what psych what psychic fighter coming up. So I use the mirror wall to uh, keep myself alive and you know not lose a ton of life points. Yeah, but basically. Had the Kuribo been used on this card, he would have been in defense mode, so when I make this play, which is summon what Psychic Fighter, to put the uh, Lord of Horror back on top of the deck, and then steal it with my Conscription. Had I done this properly, I would have been able to keep my Super Rush headlong, but I decided to uh, use the Super Rush, destroy the Emperor, hit him for 3200, because I knew he was going to top deck Card of the Soul. So my only threat was whatever this card was and it's nothing so he ends his turn and I hit him for the last 1500 with the wet psychic fighter nice and easy next up we have Mokuba this is the paleo uh, monarch deck and I was running heavy starter like I mentioned I'm not going to explain a whole lot because you guys know what Peleozoic uh, does and you guys know what uh, Monarchs do, so. We have Blowback Dragon to start with. I go ahead and set uh, all my back row. I don't know what I'm playing up against. Uh, we see two tokens right away. Cosmic Cyclone into my uh, Morella, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'll be able to send something to the grave. So now I can special summon once I activate one of my traps. But here we're just drawing, he's not committing, uh, we're gonna see Venus, and as soon as I saw this, I knew what deck this was, this was a uh, creature seizure deck, so I'm gonna use my uh, Canadia to flip that into face down, and then I'll special summon my Morella from the graveyard, I tribute summon for my blowback dragon, blowback dragon, and he immediately econ takes here. And this was the play of the game, boys. During his draw phase, no, not during the draw phase, he makes a mistake here. He gets greedy and goes for the Venus play. As, but when he switches Venus into a face-up attack position, that lets me go into my Canadia. And the reason why this part is so important is because I'm going to be able to get a second monster on the field. So when he goes for a creature seizure, I don't have to give him my blowback dragon anymore. So definitely a misplay on his part. I use my white spray ruins to get another token onto the board. And I pick up my monarch that's going to destroy the set. 23 to the face, 24 to the face. Nice and easy game. One problem this deck ran into uh, during the early testing was that I didn't have anything to take care of uh, high attack monsters. Like we played against Archfiends. And you know, the deck was doing well up until he got like a Chaos Hunter or something on the field and literally my deck had nothing but Blowback Dragon uh, to destroy it. So we made a few modifications and it worked better after that. But this is gonna be the Toon, Toon deck. We're using the Toon skill and everything. Toon world skill. Mimikat, MVP. So we just go for the regular play. Mermaid into a Toon Summon Skull. Sadly for me, he's got an Abyss Soldier. He returns the Toon Summon Skull to my hand. Uh, gets a Legendary Ocean. I don't agree with a lot of the plays my opponent did. First of all, he sent this to the graveyard instead of summoning it, which is very questionable. He, using Abyss Holder to return my Toon Summon Skull, that's perfectly fine. But I still think he would have been better off just summoning the Legendary Fisherman after getting Legendary Ocean. And the second misplay he does is not activating his Sea Stealth attack right away. So I get our second Mermaid, I go for the Econ take, he tries to Sea Stealth attack but at that point it's too late. I tribute for my Toon Summon Skull, I go for the Steel, uh, target the uh, fisherman and then he gets salty and just scoops that's the only way this deck was able to win boys tunes tunes are just they just 
It's a sad day for Toons and all their fans. But this is the last duel, and this duel pretty much ended the stream. Like, it was so hyped that we were all like, all right, that's it, boys. See you later. Uh, we stopped the meme Fridays after this one because it was just the perfect way to end the duel. I'm using the Cloudians, and I'm using Monster Morph Evolution. Uh, I didn't get to use the skill, but this is basically what I had. So we open up with a huge brick. And we keep breaking until we finally get uh, Cloud Cloudian Smoke Ball. We're gonna use Elephant's Gift. I go into Storm Dragon and you know start doing some cheap damage. I didn't know what I was playing against at this point. I just knew it was some sort of last gamble deck. Uh, here I make two misplays. I don't activate my Storm Dragon so I don't get an extra uh, Cloud Token. Is that is that what they're called? Fog Counter. I don't get an extra Fog Counter. And I attack with my uh, Storm Dragon first. So we're gonna see Golden Apples. And he keeps just drawing an ending turn, so... At this point, I have no idea. The chat is suggesting that it's probably... The... Uh, what is that card? Union or Unity? First of all, this guy uses Straight Flush. And the chat is losing his mind at this point. I'm super salty that I got rid of all my cards. Because I thought it was the Unity, uh, the Unity deck, Unity Burn deck, and I was like, well, I have the Struck Potion, so I can destroy one of my monsters, and he won't be able to burn me to death. But Straight Flush, goodbye. So at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Uh, he uses Cups of Ace. I draw two. I'm still dead at this point. Goes for the last gamble. I'm like, well, maybe he rolls a one. Nope, he rolls a five. And then Cups of Ace, Heads, Cups of Ace, Heads. So look at the amount of cards this human being has on his hand. There's only two cards left in the deck. He goes for Raz Disciple and I'm like, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Oddly enough, we looked at his deck list. The last two cards in his deck were double summon. And that's hilarious. Um, he does, you know, a bunch of damage, 900 damage on my Cloudy and Turbulence. I'm scared. I don't know what I'm, what this is. I don't trust the face downs at all. And I decide to suicide my Storm Dragon. And that was pretty much the game. Here, I'm trying to find any sort of defensive card. So what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna summon another Cloudy and Smoke Ball and use my Elephant's Gift. That's the play you're seeing right now. Unfortunately, I well, fortunately, I get Spirit Barrier, which kind of helps me. But the, this guy, the MVP boys, Claudian Ghost Fog. As I mentioned, I don't take any battle damage from a battle involved, eh, involving this card. I'm too afraid, and I don't attack. I, I'm thinking there's got to be like a Wall of D or something. He wouldn't just summon three of these, and you know, not have protection. He would be a madman. Well, he was a madman. He goes for Storm. It was a Golden Apples. It was a Golden Apples. I could have won the duel right there, but I'm so glad I didn't. He Tribute Summons for Slifer the Sky Dragon. A Slifer the Sky Dragon, 6,000 attack. If that Slifer attacks into my Claudian Turbulence, it's game over. He spends a card to activate Fairy Meteor Crush. I'm not in defense mode. What is going on? The chat's losing his mind. I have no idea what's going on. Now he's got a 5,000 attack life for the Sky Dragon. So still, he can still kill me. All he needs to do is attack my Turbulence. And I'm dead. He activates... He activates anti-magic arrows. I have no back row. What is going on? He activates anti-magic arrows, lowering his lifer to 4,000 attack. At this point, I can't lose anymore. I can't lose this turn. Uh, the most he can do is 3,200 damage if he attacks this. But what does he do? What does this man do? He attacks into my Cloudian Ghost Fog. And that is literally... 
dream scenario for this car a 10 star monster just destroyed my ghost fog i'm getting 10 fog counters onto my nimbus man and before i can even get them all in there he scoops out of rage there was not a better ending for the stream boys i don't know what happened huge misplays on my part still have no idea what the man was trying to do with his life uh, but i survived and it made for a great replay and hopefully for a great video if you guys enjoyed this uh, but that's gonna be it for meme fridays highlights number two i hope you enjoyed this 20 minute video it was worth it uh thank you so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe if you want join my discord if you haven't the link will be down in the description along with my paypal link if you guys want to support my channel support my content i really really appreciate that and till next time